Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Today I'm giving you guys my thoughts and my review on X-Men Apocalypse directed by, once again, by Brian Singer, um, starring James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Sophie Turner, um, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Ty Sheridan. Uh, you know, we, we got, we we're now focusing, after Days of Future Past, we're now focusing on the first class ca uh, cast and we're going now into, I'm guessing this is the 80s at this point. And um, we're going to, you know, focus on this, you know, this t of this cast. Even at the events of Days of Future Past, we're going to keep going with these X Men movies, unfortunately. But um, as I'm going to get into my review, hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys have been enjoying my X Men um, series, go ahead and hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button, and go check out my other reviews. I really appreciate it. Um, enough for you guys. Let's get into this review. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, like I said, this is X-Men Apocalypse, directed by Brian Singer. Uh, like I said, starring everybody who I said earlier. And basically, the story of this is uh, basically, you know, Professor X has reopened his school. He's, in, you know, bringing in new students. And, um, you know, during all this, we have the being Apocalypse being woken up from his sleep. Um, basically, you know, to get his four horsemen back together and to basically, you know, take over the world as what i can see take over the world um but and he's also played by oscar isaac who i didn't mention um uh, and uh right off the bat when i first saw this movie i thought it was okay and then i watched it again and then and this is like prior to when i watched it for this review i watched it a second time and i was like this movie's not very good this movie's not very good i'm not really feeling it it's definitely a step down from Days of Future Past, which I de I believe Days of Future Past is the best X Men movie. And um, I like the cast of characters, but I do not enjoy the story that they're telling with these cast of characters. Um, and after watching it this time, I kind of lowered my tune a little bit. You know, I kind of looked at it through a different lens, um, and I enjoyed it a lot a lot more. It's definitely not. Uh, it's, in my opinion, it's probably the worst out of the trilogy, I guess, from First Class, Days of Future Past, and this. Um, and we're not counting Dark Phoenix. Um, so, out of these three movies, it's the worst one, in my opinion. I do like First Class more than this. I, obviously, I like Days of Future Past better than this. Um, I'm just not really interested in the story. I like the characters, the moments, like the character moments in the story, but I'm not, I don't really like the story. Um... And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get into most of my negatives right now. Um, I'm gonna start off with Oscar Isaac as Apocalypse. Um, in my opinion, Apocalypse is not a, you know, for the MCU, let's compare to MCU, it, he's a Thanos level villain. This is someone you build up to. And we saw a post credit scene in Days of Future Past, and then we get straight into Apocalypse in this movie, which I feel like he just feel like another like a uh, villain of the week when he should not feel like the villain of the week um i really didn't um care for his motivations um i thought oscar oscar isaac was okay in the role obviously he's under a whole bunch of makeup so you can barely tell it's him um but i thought he was decent for what he was given and another like i said that's that's my main issue with the movie is the story i just, I just don't really care that much about it now like I, said, I do like the character moments like um obviously with magneto with him losing his family um spoiler i'm gonna go into spoilers in this video um with him losing his family and that's the reason why he joins um apocalypse in the force horseman um i do like the stuff that's going on with gene um and it's like, I, like i said i do like the character moments. i do like the actor most of the actors in this movie um, I think the new additions like Sophie Turner and Ty Sheridan, I think they really work uh, well on camera. Um, the actor who played Nightcrawler, I thought he was really good. Um, obviously, we got we brought back Evan Peters as Quicksilver. I thought he was uh, decent in the movie as well. Um, so I do like the cast of characters. Um, you know, of course, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender are still amazing as, you know, Professor X and Magneto. I believe like they were born to play these roles. Um and like I said, I think, uh, you know, it, it, I think the, the, the actors are fine. Um, to me, it's just the story that's very lackluster. Um, I think Jennifer Lawrence is okay in the movie as well. She's not terrible. Um, she, she looks like she wants to be there. At least, obviously, we'll get to the, uh, Dark Phoenix in that moment. Um, but 
it looks like she wants to be in this movie. Um, let's go ahead and get into the direction. Uh, Brian Singer came back again for this movie, and you could definitely see some crinks in the armor. Um, like I said, it just feel like he wasn't really there um, in this movie. Um, and I don't know whether or not the issues with him um, started in this movie. You know, all the stuff that was coming out about him, you know, all the bad stuff that was coming out about him. Um, and I think, I don't know if someone else came in and finished the movie. I, I don't really know. You guys can, uh, you know, uh, you know, say whatever you guys want about this situation in the conversation below. But um, you can definitely tell this movie feels very... Um, conjointed when it comes to the direction um i do like the way the movie looks um the movie looks like great on 4k though that's the one thing i give i do like the way this movie's look is very bright very vi vibrant colors um like you said like i said um I, I do like the way this movie is shot now let me go ahead and get, like i said let's go ahead and get into some of my favorite moments i do love mostly everything they do with magneto um you know the whole everything with his family, him losing his family. I love that whole scene. Um, you know, I, I love the scene where Apocalypse take him to the place where he lost his family. And he basically like basically destroys the entire area. I do like that. Um, you know, I do like um, most of the things with Cyclops, with Scott and him go, going to the mansion and meeting Gene. I do like all that stuff. Um, and of course, we got to talk about the Quicksilver scene with him saving everyone in the mansion. In this one, I felt like it, if I had to, you know, say which one I would rather have, I think I would rather have the scene in Day to Future Past compared to this scene. Um, this scene kind of makes him feel like he's just invincible, like he's just so fast that he's able to do, you know, it doesn't feel like there's no like tension. It, you, you definitely tell everyone is going to make it out. Um, and, um, you know, I think the scene is fine. Um, you know, but, um, uh, you know, and then we got, so obviously we obviously got some other characters introduced. We got Angel introduced. We got Psylocke that got introduced, um, you know, and I think they're fine for what they're given. Like I said, we also got Storm, uh, being introduced in this movie. And, um, like I said, I think all those actors are fine. They're not really given really that much to do. You know, they're basically just apocalypse, like henchmen basically. And like I said, they're fine, you know, um, you know, Psylocke is just something really to look at. That's really all she is. She doesn't really give that much to do either. Um, and so, like I said, I, I really just wanted to get this review out as quick as possible because, you know, I'm trying to get through all these movies before uh, Deadpool 3. Um, and like I said, this is, this did also come out the same year as the first Deadpool. And um, it's great that they released two Fox movies in the same year. Um, but overall, like I said, I do... Um, I, I did enjoy this movie on this watch. I did like the third act. Everything with them, you know, with them fighting um, Apocalypse. I loved everything with um, Professor is going into his mind. And we actually get, like, to see, like, there's a scene where he, like, like grows really big, which that's something he could do in the comics. He doesn't do it in this movie besides being inside Charles' mind. I did like that. Um, you know, I thought that was pretty dope. Um, you know, and... That's really all. Uh, I think uh, I forgot to talk about um, Nicholas Holt as Beast. I think he he was fine in this movie too. Um, I'm trying to make sure I, I tackle all the characters because this movie has a lot of characters. Oh, also Rose Byrne shows up again. She was in First Class. She shows up in this movie for some random reason, you know, but um, I thought she was fine as well in the movie. Um, you know, like I said, I, I think all the performances are fine. Um, and like I said, my most negative with this with this movie is the story, and, and I guess you could say the villain. Um, like I said, I, I just think it was a big issue that they made Apocalypse the main villain. They should have just we we should we should have built to this. And I also feel like we should have like you know, Apocalypse should have been done. I say done right, but he should have been done well. Like they should have just made sure we we should have had time to get to that character not just show him in one movie and get rid of him i feel like that was an issue so um but overall um like i said i did i, th I did enjoy the movie for what it was um i do like the performances um i do like the way the movie is shot and obviously the standouts of course is james mcavoy and michael fassbender 
um you know and i like i said i i i, I do like the end the, the the final ending when we see all the x-men lined up in their in their their like their original x-men suits i thought that was freaking dope it's too bad we didn't get that in dark phoenix but it is what it is so um like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please hit that like button subscribe for more more x-men reviews will be coming in the near future if you guys are ready for that as well and i'm on this one you guys peace out